These just might be one of the most unappreciated sneakers of 2023. And I'm talking about the Air Jordan 13 Wheat. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. Now, before we start talking about why I love this sneaker so much, we gotta talk about the history first. Back in 1997, Michael Jordan was in hot pursuit of winning another NBA title, and during that time, he also released the Air Jordan 13. We saw multiple original colorways when it comes to the high tops and the low tops, and after that season, the Air Jordan 13 became another iconic staple in the shoe game. Several years later, in 2004, we saw more iterations hit the scene, with colorways like the Altitudes, the Gray Toes, the White UNCs, and we can't forget Forget to mention the wheats. I vividly remember that shoe coming out when I was in middle school. I definitely ended up picking those up and I wore them throughout the years and I loved that shoe. So when I found out that the wheat 13s were coming back with a retro, I had to get my hands on these and I had a strong feeling a lot of people would sleep on this shoe. I get it, it's not your traditional sneaker and some people don't even like the Jordan 13 model, but trust me when I tell you, this is definitely a beauty. So let's go ahead and take it to the studio and start breaking these things down. Now, as you can see right here, we have another switch up when it comes to the coloring of the box, but similar to the OG style, when you see them original Jordan 13s from back in the day, those used to be the all over silver boxes, but what they did was a switch up on the colorway matching with the shoe. So you got all predominantly white right here on the box with kind of like a matte color white. And then you have that wheat color Jumpman right here in the center of the box. Now looking at the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 13 Retro White Wheat size 13 just for me and retail on these was $200 and that is exactly why they're still sitting on shelves now lifting open the lid of the box right here you got your all white paper classic like that and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe okay first impressions of this sneaker I didn't care what the situation was when I found out that these were coming out <laughs> I knew I had to have these now this isn't the best you know shape and materials and everything but I, I just can't complain because the memories of the times of me rocking these as a young kid in in high school days and everything like this is a great shoe so clearly y'all know i love this sneaker and i could not wait to make this review as soon as i got these thing in the mail i just immediately to the studio let's shoot the video so Looking at the outsole right here, you got your classic Air Jordan 13 bottom. You got your hair and bone traction pods on the back and the front end. Those are gonna be six different pods throughout the shoe. And that's also gonna be similar to the shape and mold of like the Panther's paw, which is where the design inspiration came from when it comes to how this shoe was just created and the mold and everything of the sneaker. Now inside of that, you have your wheat color right here on the center and then the rubber area around that is gonna be all wheat as well. Then you got your yellow holograph right here in the center of the foot and then your wheat colored carbon fiber plate right here in the middle of that with the white speckle now going up to the midsole right here you got your white pods with your rubber with the dots all over it it's classic to the og 13s and then you have your suede right here on the midsole and that's going to be wrapping all the way around the shoe in that same wheat color as well now going to the upper you have a mixture of a few different materials you have a suede you have a tumbled leather you have a smoother leather and then you got your sock liner and everything like that so looking at the suede on the back end honestly feeling it around the back end right here it feels pretty good. I'm not mad at that. I think it's more of the leather. That is probably something that people might have a complaint with, may or may or not. But when I feel the leather on the toe, honestly, it's soft. It's not that bad. Like, it, there, there has been better. Yes, I get it. But it's not that bad. But when I feel the leather on the tongue, the tumbled leather on the tongue, a lot more stiff. It's, it's tumbled. You can see it's got that texture to it. But a lot more stiff. We've seen other Jordans with a way better tongue with like a tumbled type of leather on them. So... For me, I'm like, I wish they would have put some more effort into it, but I get it. This is not a collaboration. This is not a high demand sneaker. There's not a lot of uh, value behind it, but it is a great shoe to retro, another colorway to add to the arsenal. And I could understand why this shoe could you know, be a release for Jordan brand. Why they want to release a shoe like this to help pump the numbers and their annual sales and everything like that. This is kind of one of them sneakers that fall in that category. So on the side of the foot right here, you have a smoother leather as well. And that's kind of showing a little bit of texture as you see these little dots right here, all stitched in with the little circles all throughout the side of the foot. This is classic to the Air Jordan 13. I always call it like the pillow top. I don't know, for some reason it looks like a mattress to me, but again, I don't know, everybody has their own little things that they call it right here on the side of the foot. And that's gonna be on the inside and on the outside. And then on the back end, man, childhood memories right here. 
You got the 23 with the jump man with the holograph right there. And that's also gonna be the eye of the panther, same thing, going along with the design elements to the shoe. And these come standard with a pair of white rope laces. And on the front end right here, another iconic touch to the Jordan 13. You have a wheat colored tab with the white Jordan text. And flipping the tab back, there's no Jordan 13 in Roman numerals on either of the shoes. Now this is kind of like a hidden gem to some of the models. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. Now, looking at the sock liner and everything on the inside, you got all white when it comes to the collar and the behind the tongue. And then on the sock liner right here, you got the same wheat color and then the white Jumpman. Oh yeah, and I can't forget the wheat Jumpman right here on the front of the tongue as well. Now, the Jordan 13, it's one of those models that you love it or you hate it. Some people stop at 14, some people stop at 12, some people stop at 11. Some people just don't like Jordans at all. I get it, there's a lot of different things. Now, is it gonna sell out? Is it gonna go crazy in the market? Maybe not, but over time, you might catch it on sale, whatever the situation might be. Next thing you know, you look up three years, four years. I don't know what it is with Jordan 13s in particular, but it usually takes like a three to four year window. And then the shoe is like 350 bucks. And you're like, bro, those was like a buck 50, 160. Like nobody wanted those. They were sitting on shelves. But I think it's one of those like kind of like utility shoes. You can almost like dress it up, dress it down. You can hoop in it. You can do whatever you want to do in the shoe. And people get their money's worth out of it. And because of that, people start messing up the shoes. And then it's kind of harder to find a dead stock pair. And then next thing you know, you're spending 270 bucks, 280 bucks, $325 trying to get a colorway like this or something else that's a little bit more simple or more you know easy to wear with a lot of different outfits so to me this is a dope colorway two hundred dollars i think is too much but at the same time i feel like take your time maybe catch these at outlets maybe catch these on sale use a discount it's the holidays right now there's a lot of different stuff coming out too that's the other problem you got gratitudes and kobe's and the powder puff girls and this and that's and the travis scott's and the da 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 like there's so many other models that's worth spending your two hundred dollars on over a sneaker like this I completely get it. If this wasn't for like memories as a child and me wearing these back in high school and stuff, I would not be going after these like I need them right now. I would definitely be waiting to get them on sale or something. So that's just kind of where I'm at. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys cop? Is this a drop? Do you plan on getting them later? What do you think about the value? I would love to hear all those thoughts down below in the comment section. And you know, I'm always interested to see what everybody else thinks. If the shoe is fire or trash, obviously, I think it's fire. Do I think it's like a crazy fire? No, but I would say fire if I voted on the, you know, poll. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I post a poll every single time I get a new shoe. And then I ask the people the question, is the shoe fire or trash? This is what they said. 59% of the people said fire and 41% of the people said trash. Honestly, that's pretty cool. Like a 60, 40, you know, I get it. Like not a hype model, not a hype colorway, no crazy demand behind it, and it's still winning in the fire to trash. So to me, I feel like that's a solid poll. It makes sense. It represents kind of where the shoe game is at, where the market is at, where everything is at. Let me know what you think the percentages should be down below in the comment section. I'm definitely very interested. So overall colorway and memories behind this shoe, 10 out of 10. Now, when it comes to materials, I give it like a seven. <laughs> and then the price, I give it like a six. <laughs> but besides that, overall, it's still a cop. That's kind of how I rate the shoe. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. We got plenty more reviews coming. I'll see y'all in another one. I'm out. I would never let you down. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, I have a ton on the inside when it comes to my Sneakerhead Academy. It's an eight-week program that breaks down everything when it comes to the ins and outs of the shoe game, learning the market, and how to grow and scale your collection at the same time, or turn it into a hustle and getting a bunch of money if you'd like to. To do that as well and if you want to invest in the real estate i have all the tips and tricks in live meetups where we do monthly meetups and everybody jumps in and we go over a call and we talk about different goals and aspirations that we have and how we can help each other get there so if that's something that you're interested in hit the link down below get signed up i would love to see you on the inside it's the holidays right now so we got a special going as well all right you guys i'm out that's in my dna hey, the hey, only choice i like to make what i'm aware it's today one i would never let you down that's in my dna the only choice i like to make what i'm aware today i was made for it it's in the dna <laughs>